we will remove the three frame bolts on this side and the three frame bolts on this side. They are 9 16 and you might need two hands for this one or two people. And you will reuse these frame bolts. Not discard. to lift the frame off the motorcycle. And there you have it. You'll remove your TSSM and your O2 sensor plugs. Well, and then Remove this plug right here off of the battery box. You might need a little flat belt blade to do that. Now, and you need to remove your ignition coil from this box. You will not reuse the box, but you will the coil. And you will not re reuse this bracket. Now, you will be removing your negative battery cable and installing your new battery cable, the negative. <laughs> so that's the new negative battery cable. The new negative battery cable. Just removing that out of the way. You'll be installing your new negative cable. must remove the other end which is a 10 millimeter and just use a socket and there's your old cable it is out and then you must reinstall this nut and go ahead and secure it tightly because on your new cable it will mount on this side of the frame now so go ahead and secure this 10 millimeter bolt there's your new location for your ground. Going to this side and routing this underneath my wiring loom and removing this 10 millimeter. And now installing Now we're going to remove the 
positive side of the fuse blocks, the wire out of the fuse blocks that's going to your positive cable. You'll need a small screwdriver. And then another flat blade. Push down the tab to remove that. Removing the starter bolt. and remove your rubber boot you will be reusing it and this right here you will not be reusing this is your new positive cable and on the end with just one eyelet you're going to reinstall your boot okay there you go okay and you will route it in the same exact spot as the one you removed. Just hold your boot back with your finger and install your 12 millimeter nut. Just get that boot as far over the nut as you can so no metal's exposed. We're ready for the drop frame. All right. Yeah, we need, we all need those wires to be right through there. And on the inside of the frame on that side. Oh, hold on. That one right there is good with this one right here. This should be routed right on the inside there. And there we go. All right. You must make sure that your battery po or positive battery cable is mounted underneath the frame in between the primary and the frame and beside the battery box so it is below. A little dab of red Loctite on your stock frame bolts. All right, you have one 5 16th bolt in your kit. It is used for the left side of the frame, lower. It countersinks into this hole. The rest is the stock bolts. Thank you.
And you will torque these bolts to 40 foot pounds. Tore it down the uh, bolts on the frame. Now I'm going to install the shock bolts with blue Loctite. You got a mechanic on this. <laughs> <laughs> and you may have to jack up your jack to get it to properly line up. Install the other side. All right, you will torque your shock bolts to 35 foot pounds. Now we'll move on. To installing the ignition coil, you must keep an eye on where your wiring is. You'll open it up well enough to where you can get your coil right in there, and it will now reroute your plugs. It will reroute your plug wires above the frame. The uh, three sixteenths Allen. going right here in the front of the battery box to the frame. Okay. I'll just snuff it. <laughs> get it loose and get it ready to start it. Does that would float with the... 